All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary video. Um, before we get started with the playthrough, just a couple housekeeping things. Uh, first off, I appreciate all the excitement and love behind all the monthly challenges. I know we've only done a couple, but it seems like everybody's enjoying those. So I really appreciate you guys enjoying those. I feel like it's a good opportunity to kind of all of us to do something the same. Uh, so yeah, those are great. Uh, I think for March, I'll probably do like one big box. So like we'll do like Dark City or something. So actually thinking about it let's just pick uh pick it so like basically just if, if for for uh for uh march's challenge you know pick a big box so that's um that's between uh world war hulk dark city secret wars one secret wars two civil war and um x-men so one of those boxes uh just pick one and then whoever whichever one gets like the most uh, like so if somebody suggests it the, if, which one I see the most. So either if I see it commented the most or the most upvotes on, on one, uh, then we'll go the theme will be that. So go ahead and do that. I'll check this. I'll check it um, before, you know, the we do that uh, before at the, by the end of the month. And then I'll say this is the set, you know, this is the one you need for it. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see for that. Um, number two is I know that I talked about doing live streaming and I know I was like trying to figure out if I want to do it every month, every other month. Um, and if I do it every other month, the next time I do it is March. But the way March's schedule is going to work out is I'm not going to be able to do it in March. So I'm doing it tomorrow. We're going to live stream tomorrow. I know it's a kind of short notice, but I'm not going to do it in March. Um, so you'll get four playthroughs all, you know, you'll play through every Friday for March. And this week, you guys are going to get a playthrough today. And then you guys are going to get my live stream tomorrow. So live stream tomorrow, Saturday. Um, what is it? February 13th, uh, noon CST, Central Standard Time. So if you live on the East Coast, that's 1. If you live Mountain Time, that's 11. If you live on the West Coast, that is 10 a.m. If you live somewhere else in the world, I, I don't know the conversions for where you are. But you can Google it. But it's what I try to do every single time for my live stream. So tomorrow, live stream, again, we'll just rock out for a couple hours, um, play three or four playthroughs, probably three. Um, three playthroughs or two hours. If we can get another one in, then we'll do it. But that's probably what we're going to do. Um, just come hang out, even if it's for a little bit. Uh, and then you can check it if you don't get to see it. Check it out later on. But <clears throat> it's always a lot of fun. We can talk about WandaVision. Uh, it's getting crazy. So see you guys on that tomorrow. But let's get into today's playthrough. Let's try to look at stuff. So, so today's playthrough is actually inspired a bit by the Secret Wars uh, comic from the 90s. I think it's from like late 80s, early 90s. I don't remember when. I didn't read it. I don't know much about it. But I Googled it today, and I didn't bother remembering the year it came out. The reason for me doing this was all prompted because I have the image of the... If you know the cover, it's got Spider-Man in the symbiote suit um, hanging out. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And I haven't used symbiote Spider-Man <clears throat> in quite some time. So I figured, well, why not uh, go ahead and... Um, play, play that, play with him, and that's uh, the Secret Wars from a long time ago, not the most recent one from a few years ago. So, in that story, the Beyonder does some stuff to get all these people together. I'm not going to use the Beyonder because he's too hard. I don't want to. I want to try to actually have a chance of winning it, and also using Spider-Man. If I didn't use Spider-Man, then maybe I'll do the Beyonder and work it out with some other characters. But we're going to use that. So. Uh, one of the villains prominent in the story is Dr. Doom. So we're going to be going against Dr. Doom. He's nine attack. Each player with exactly six cards in their hand reveals a tech hero or puts two cards uh, from their hand on top of their deck. Now, everything I'm using does not involve a tech hero. So we are going to have to just figure that out. And then because that story dealt with Battle World, we're going to be doing Enthrall the Barons of Battle World. I know there's a Secret Wars um, scheme, but we're not going to do that one. So we're going to do this one here. It's Twist 1 through 7. Uh, so it's eight twists, twists one through seven. The villain in the city or escape pile with the highest printed attack ascends to be a new mastermind. It gets plus two attack and gains the ability master strike. Each player discards a card that's equal to the, this this mastermind's printed attack. Uh, I'm sorry, printed victory points. Keep them separate from any villains who have ascended uh, through, uh, escape effects. And then, because you know some avail some villains have some to go up. Twist eight is the villain in each player's victory pile with the highest printed attack ascends the same way. And then it's evil wins when there are six masterminds. So we got to keep them under wraps uh, as best as we can. Uh, because that story also has various villains, one being the Wrecking Crew. We have already used the Wrecking Crew last week, so I don't want to use them again. So um, when I looked it up, Dr. Octopus and the Lizard were part of it. And because they're in one villain group, we're going to use them. So that's Spider-Foes. 
which works well because, uh, like I said, we're using Symbiote Spider-Man. And then there's a plethora of heroes. There's a lot of X-Men. There's Avengers. Uh, there's uh, most of the Fantastic Four. So I decided to go with an X-Men character being Rogue. And then I went with She-Hulk because um, She-Hulk in that story from what I read later joins the Fantastic Four because the Thing, Ben Grimm, that's the name I think, like can change back to a human and then I guess he gets off the team for a minute and uh, she joins the Fantastic Four. So we kind of rep Fantastic Four and uh, Avengers with She-Hulk. So that's why I got those characters. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And again, none of these characters have any tech cards. So we're going to basically be at the mercy of um, of his uh, master trick every time. Also, if you look, and you can't really tell, but after, you know, <laughs> years of putting these cards in these sleeves and over 100 playthroughs, these, my uh, starter deck hand, these sleeves are worn out. So I switched them all out just a little bit ago. And it's nice having, I'm going to throw these away. And it's nice having beautiful, brand new uh, <laughs> sleeves on these cards. It's almost like getting a new set. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I got to do the Scheme Twist and Master Strikes as well. Speaking of that, Scheme Twist, there's no villain here to ascend, so we're okay there. So let's figure out what to throw on the bottom. And I'm going to throw this on the bottom for now. And let's take a look here. So we've got four and two. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually let's... Hmm. What do I want to do? Let's go ahead and actually I'm going to grab this for two. And it's going to be Dark Strength. It's wall crawl. I'll go on top of my deck. And then it says reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs one or two, you get plus two attack. And then for the other two, we're going to grab um, Shadowed uh, Spider. And it's wall crawl. And then it says you get plus one attack for each other hero. You play this turn that costs one or two. So <clears throat> I know that it's very, very easy to not <laughs> use the Spider-Man cards because they're just kind of hard to use when they're not with other Spider-Man cards. But I wanted to make sure I tried to use them. So we're going to grab some. All right, Master Strike. So in this case, I'm going to have to um, put two cards back on top of my deck. So I can't really recruit anything. So let's put these two on top. And now we've got Green Goblin here. He's going to ambush, capture a bystander. So maybe we can kill him. So we have one, two. We're not going to we're just short. Because I'm going to play this, reveal the top card of my deck. If it's one or two, it's zero, so I don't get anything. Then I can play this. And I get one, two, three. I get one, two, three, four, five attack. So I actually can't attack him. So we're going to have to let that go. And the turn. So it didn't really work out the way I was hoping, but that's okay. That is all right. All right, we got Savage Land Mutates. Oh, that I didn't, I didn't mention that was the henchman group. We've got five recruit here. Um, let's go ahead and grab Energy Drain. Uh, it's two recruit, and if I play a red hero, you can KO a card. From my hand or discard pawn, if I do so, I'll gain uh, one recruit. And then let's get a sidekick for the other two. Maybe some of those sidekicks can come in handy for a Spider-Man card. All right. I got Lizard here. All right, so we got to kind of deal with some stuff. All right, so we've got three recruit here. Um, we're not going to really get anything off this. So we'll look at this. Look at the top two cards. Oh, this is not the one I want to play. I want to play this one. Reveal the top card of my deck. It, I don't get the bonus, but I have one, two, three, four attack. Let's kill uh, the Savage Land Mutate. So when we draw a new hand at the end of the turn, we'll get to draw an extra card. And then with the three recruit, I'll grab uh, Hurl Legal Objections. So that's two uh, recruit. And then it says... Um, it says once per turn, if you made at least six recruit, transform into hurl trucks. So I'll get to transform her. I've got that deck stack over to the side. All right. Let's remember to grab our extra card here. It's going to be very important to try to kill Green Goblin as soon as possible. Um, so it doesn't ascend to a mastermind because he'll be eight. And uh, at the moment, I'm having a hard time accruing attacks. So, oops. But we got Thwip right here. I'm going to grab that one here in a minute. Like just being a very strong card. All right. Master Strike. So remember, it says exactly six cards. I have seven. So I get to avoid the effect there. Get to avoid the effect again. And we got a Scheme Twist. 
he is going to ascend to become a new mastermind. So I'm going to set this up here. Let's throw something to the bottom. Um, but he is a new mastermind, and he's eight because he gets plus two attack. So we've got to deal with that there. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, and then reveal if you, uh, I get, so I only have three attack. So I can kill the lizard. Um, it says if you kill, fight the lizard in the sewers, each other player gains a wound. I could just great take the wound, uh, which I'm going to do. I'm going to kill him and gain the wound. I'm doing that because um, uh, I don't want any to ascend and just be harder to deal with. I think the wound is probably an easier thing to, to cope with at the moment. So, And then let's grab Thwip. So Thwip here is his rare. It's play this card. To play this card, you must put two cards from your hand on top of your deck. And that's four attacks. So that'll be great for some of those other cards. I can throw them up and then try to get the bonus. Um, so let's take a look here. We've got Venom here. You can't fight Venom unless you have a uh, red hero. All right. So let's take a look here. Um, ah, let's phase this. So we're going to swap this out with the top card of our deck. Then we're going to play this card, and it's going to say reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs one or two, you get plus two. It costs two, so I have three. Four attack. <laughs> okay, I thought I was doing something there. I didn't do anything. I've got four attack off of that. Um, and I've got five recruit. Darn it, that's not what I was really hoping for. Um, four attack and five recruit. And I can't even fight him anyway because I don't have red. Let's grab... Let's grab copy powers. So to play this card, play this as a copy of a card you've played this turn. It counts both as red and the color of the card you copied. This would be great also for that Spider-Man and... Oh, I've already got it. Because um, it'll count as a two-cost card, and that'll just help if I wanted to use the other Spider-Man card. The one that gives me plus one for each other one I played. Because it's a copy. All right. All right, we got another Savage Land Mutates here. Let's take a look here. We have one, two, three, four... Five and three will kill the Savage Land. We'll get to draw an extra card at the end of our turn. And then with our five, let's grab let's grab another one of these. And I'm gonna grab uh, this. And it gets wall crawl, so we'll get it on top. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, okay. Five, six, seven. Okay. We may have a play this turn. We may have a good play this turn. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three. Recruit. So there's one attack. Um, what do we want to do here? Let's play this. We'll reveal the top card of our deck. We don't get the bonus. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, because of uh, it playing two other cards, and then we're gonna play a copy of this. So uh, seven, eight, nine, ten attacks. We have ten attack right now, and three recruit. So we have a couple options. We can kill both of these guys, get them off the field. I can kill Green Goblin, get rid of that Mastermind entirely, or I can hit Doctor Doom. Let's hit Green Goblin. So. Um, we get the one where you rescue this bystander, you mean KO one of your heroes right here on your discard pile. So we're going to KO this. But that gets rid of one of the masterminds there. And then with three recruit, I'll grab this again. And I think that's, I shouldn't, uh, the only recruit cards I'm going to be grabbing, I think going forward, are going to be these ones. All right. Scheme twist. Venom's going to rise up. He'll be seven. We're going to put a card on the bottom. I've got four. Recruit. One attack. One wound. The wound I can't get rid of. If I pay five recruit, I can get rid of it. Let's grab another one of these hurl uh, legal objections. And we'll end the turn. All right. Nothing kind of... We're not really having anything getting going yet, but... You know, we're getting there. We are getting there for sure.
All right. Scheme twist. So he's going to ascend as another mastermind. And we are at scheme twist number four. So he's also seven. We got to throw something to the bottom. All right. So let's see what we got here. Okay. What do we want to do here? So four. Um, I feel like I can't really make the attack that I'm hoping to. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to play this for two. I'm going to play this for four recruit. I'm going to play this to copy this for six recruit. And then so I can KO this. So I have seven recruit. Um, so I have seven recruit right now. Uh, this will let me transform this into hurl trucks. So I can swap that out for that. Seven recruit there. Mm. Um, and I can play this and get six attacks. I really can't do a whole lot there. Seven recruits. So let's grab this here, which is radioactive sh uh, riot. It's once per turn. If you made at least six recruit, you can KO a card from your hand or discard pile. And just to keep in mind, so this is what a Hurl Trucks is. It's two attack and then has Smash 2 twice. So Smash 2 means I can discard a card and get plus two attack, and I can do it twice, actually. So that sort of did some stuff. All right, here's him. Okay. Can we do something else? We may be able to get another one of these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to transform this into Hurl Trucks again, but we have six recruit. And I'm going to play this. Well, I can smash one, so I have four, five, reveal the top card of my deck. So I have five attack. We'll kill this. It says, when you draw a new hand, you draw eight cards instead of six. And then we have, um, so we have to draw two extra cards, basically. And then we have six recruit. So I guess, do I just get a bunch of these <laughs> Spider-Man cards? Um... Let's get one of them. So we're going to get this. It's going to go on top of our deck. I actually probably should have gotten it in a different way. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. What do I want to do? Excuse me. I just burped. I'll grab this again. I'll just do it. Whatever. We're going to use Spider-Man. I'm going to get a sidekick. All right. So there's the two extra. And then let's get our six. Oh, yeah. We're going to do some. We're going to hopefully do some damage here. Lizard. Okay. So we got to clear out some of these masterminds up here. So I have one, two, three, four, five recruit. Five recruit here. Let's kind of take a, take a second here. So let's play this, reveal the top card here. It doesn't cost one or two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attack. So we do have seven attacks. So we'll take out one of these Venoms for seven. So that's okay. And then we've got five recruits. So it's, we're kind of in like a tough spot because I don't feel like I'm really getting a whole lot here. So let's, I'm going to grab another one of these. I know it's, it's, it's the last recruit card I'm getting and I'm getting a sidekick. I, I think... I need uh, to clear out these shield cards. I need to gain, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, it's getting kind of hard here. The, uh, my deck is uh, still kind of like, I've only removed two of my shield cards. So it's, it's not like we're getting rid of stuff. All right. Okay. Maybe we can do some stuff here. Okay. Scheme Twist, he's going to rise up. He's going to become five. Uh, he's five. Let's put something on the bottom. Okay. Um, can we kill something? Is the question here. There's two recruit. The answer is no. Three, four. Uh, I'm going to KO this. So it gives me five recruit here. So unfortunately, I don't feel like I can do a whole lot. 
I'm going to get another one of these hurl objections. Um, and get another sidekick, I guess. Right, and the turn. See, I've got too many shield cards. Green Goblin's going to capture a bystander. I've got one, two, three. I'm going to play this and reveal the top card of my deck. It does cost two, so I do get the bonus. Okay, hello. So that's three attack. Four. I'm going to play copy of this and get it. So um, five, six, seven attack. So the question is, so I've got seven attack here. What's this bystander? This one is Bulldozer. I can just move villains around. I have seven attack here. I'm going to kill Green Goblin because he's stronger than, he'll be stronger if he ascends. When he rescues spice to me, he may move a villain to an adjacent city space. Okay. And then with, I have three recruit. I'm actually not going to get anything. And I know that I probably could get a sidekick, but I'm not going to, I'm not getting anything. I'm going to wait. Okay. Master Strike. I've got to put two cards. Ugh, this is kind of lame. i got to put two cards back. So I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to put them back in this order, though. Wait a minute. Hold on. How do I want to do this? Let me think about this for a second. Basically, I can get attack off of this one. No, I'm gonna have to. I might focus on recruit this turn. I have to discard a three cost card and a two cost card as well because of the other master strike effects. So I'm gonna discard a three and a two anyway, so I can keep the six. I won't have to lose that one. I'm just trying to think about, and I won't have to lose this one. So. I'm gonna have to, if I put this goes goes back, I'm gonna have to discard. I'm gonna definitely have to discard one of these. And this one, yeah, let's put this one back. Now we have to discard a card. Let me think about this. I'm trying to think for a second. I'll have three cards when this is all said and done. And I can get six attack at the most. So let's just not lose this stuff. So let's discard this. And I'll... This one will get discarded for the other thing. So we'll do that. Yeah, because we got... Um... Yeah. We're going to discard two and a three. And I don't have a three. So bystander. Okay, so I'm going to play this and smash twice so these both get discarded for um, six attack and kill that. And then we're going to end the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. The deck is getting kind of small here. Uh, Master Strike. Okay. Okay. I got to discard. Uh, I got to put two back. And then I have to uh, discard a three again. So I don't want to discard my three, so I'm going to put this back. And... But I get to use this to draw a card. Let me think about playing how to play this here. I can use this to draw a card back. I'm going to put this one back too. I have to discard a three. I'm sorry. No, I have to discard a three, so I'm good. I don't discard anything. Okay, I think... Hold on. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to run it that way. We'll play another card from the villain deck. It's a scheme twist. Uh, nobody ascends because we're at six now. I do have to put something on the bottom. Okay, I think I think we can do something here. So we're going to play this. We're going to reveal the top card of our deck. It costs two, so we get the bonus there. So there's three. To play this, I'm going to put these back. So that's seven, so we're going to kill Venom here. So he's dead. So we can end the turn. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I got to make a move here because that villain deck's running out. And uh, I haven't hit, I haven't hit what's his name, one time. So we're going to play this, Rescue Bystander. Patrol the sewers, but they're occupied, so we're not going to get anything. We're also going to draw a card. We're going to play this and KO a card from our hand or discard pile. So I'm going to KO this. It's going to give me another recruit. So I have uh, three recruit there. Four recruit. Well, let's see. Three recruit. Four recruit. Let's think about this here. Um, I can get nine attack here. So let's play this. I'm going to smash twice. And then for six, this is going to be uh, nine here. We're gonna hit. Um, we're gonna hit Doctor Doom here. So let's take a look at this. When you rescue a spy standard, put any number here from the HQ on the bottom of the deck. 
I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna put all these down there. I can't really do anything with the big ones. I'm just gonna put them all down there. All right. And then this one says choose one. Each player draws a card. Each player discards a card. I'm gonna choose to draw a card. It's gonna give us this. I'm gonna play this again for um, uh, this. I'm gonna KO a card in my discard pile. It's gonna KO this. I now have uh, eight recruit, which I just moved all those to the bottom. Dang it. I just moved those cards to the bottom. I have eight recruit now, but I get to do this ability once per turn. If you made at least six recruit, you can KO a card from your hand or discard pile. So we can KO another card from our discard pile. And I do have eight recruit, so I'll grab this for six, and I will end the turn on that. So that's kind of a bummer because I just completely, like a dum dum, threw everything. I think I had eight. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it. Well, I think I, I think I had eight. Maybe I had seven. It's okay, whatever, doesn't matter. I got the one for six, I know I had at least six, so. All right. All right, let's make some moves here. Scheme Twist, he's gonna rise up, he'll be five, and uh, again, we're at seven here. There's only two cards left in the villain deck, so I gotta make some moves here, we gotta kill some stuff. Or five, yeah. Uh, let's throw something to the bottom here. Okay, we're going to play this to draw two. All right, here we go. So I don't know what we're going to really be able to do out of it, but I'm going to play both of these and this. This is going to give me two attack. We've made six, so I'm going to swap it out. Um, it says once per turn, if you made at least six, you can transform this. So I'm not, I don't know if that means that each card has its own effect and I can do it both times, but I'm just going to play on the safe side and only do it once. So I have do have six recruit there. I think I can probably do each one, but I'm not gonna push it. I got six recruit. I've got two, um, three, I'm gonna discard two for smash. So four, five, six, seven, wait, this is two. I have eight attack right now. Nine, 10, I'm gonna smash this uh, 11, 12 attack. So I have 12 attack now and I have six recruit. Let's kill doom. Um, take another turn after this. So thank you, I guess. I'm gonna do that anyway. I can't hit Savage Land, which is unfortunate. And I have six recruits, so let's grab this for four. And I'm going to end my turn. Throg goes to the bottom. Oh, I should've maybe killed Savage Land and got the extra card draw, but we'll make it work. Okay. Scheme Twist. So the highest attack villain ascends to become a mastermind, which I believe is going to be him and I don't know if he gets I don't think he gets his ambush effect because that's entering the city so I don't think he gets his ambush effect but he's eight let's put something on the bottom all right so now I have to kill doom twice and both of those guys to win the game <laughs> so the question is can we make it happen um first off let's play this we'll reveal the top card of our deck it does cost two so we get three attack four five attack we're gonna play both of these. I'm gonna KO two cards because I played I played two reds. So we can KO two cards. So six recruit there, seven recruit. We're gonna play this and recruit. Actually, I'm gonna recruit this. I'm gonna recruit this one. And not play it. So I have six recruit and I get the ability off of that. So like I said, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack. Eight attack and six recruit. With the eight attack, let's kill the savage land uh, because I'll get the extra card draw. And then with the six recruit, uh, I guess I'll grab this, this, and we're gonna end the turn. And then we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So here, this is gonna be the challenging part. We've got this, so we've got, we have to somehow create, uh, <laughs> we have to somehow create, uh, uh, what is it, 26 attack? I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, but we never know. Let's see. So let's first off, let's do, let's let's try to maximize our damage output right now. So we know that we can uh, we can smash. And we can do we can we can duplicate this. We're gonna lose four cards to do it, and we can have twelve attack. The four cards that we lose. So I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. 
Now, let me ask you that. Well, so I wonder if I play this, if I play this, I have to, I have to put the two cards in my hand on top of my deck. If I do this to play a copy of it, it's already played. Do I have to still put the two cards? So I may, I may not have to do that. So that's all it's going to lose us four cards. Um, I can, however, play this and I can ensure that I get a two cost here and get this and play it twice for this card and get six guaranteed. So I can give a six for sure between these two. I'm sorry, between these two, so long as I uh, put something back. I don't, I can maybe, well, I can't mitigate that. And the base of the choice is going to come down to, do I want to play this one or this one? Because this is going to cost two and this is going to cost two to play. So I don't know if what we can do here, because I'm kind of hoping, I don't know if I can do something with Doom to kill goblin or not i don't know this is a really tough situation to be in i know that if i play this okay let's just kind of take it let's kind of take it one step at a time here if this card on top is cost two then we don't have to waste recruit let's take it one step at a time we're going to play this and reveal the top card of our deck it does not cost two so we've already played that that's one attack I am going to try to think here. I am going to play. I should have just played this. Yeah, I'm going to play this smash twice. Play this, smash twice. So I have 12 attack. So <laughs> 13 attack, I mean, right? Because this is uh, one, two. Yeah, let's hit Dr. Doom. When you draw a new hand at the end of your turn, draw three extra cards. I could have used that one instead of the stupid take an extra turn. Ugh. So game ends in a draw. Darn it. That's okay. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know if these, this this team would work out. I think my biggest problem is I didn't get rid of my all these cards, and I got too many Spider-Man cards. And this card, I should not have gotten it. <laughs> this card has done nothing but trouble. And I think I had recruit, and I could have got one of these. Uh, I could have gotten Rogues Rare, or uh, She Hulk's Rare. So either way, it's okay. You can't win them all. So that's gonna be playthrough today, you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, tomorrow is the live stream. So come through uh, noon Central Standard Time. We're going to be doing uh, three playthroughs or so. Um, because it takes about two hours. So do three playthroughs. And uh, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.